History. The Ponzi scheme was named after Charles Ponzi, who's in the 1920s. Fraud investment operation. Returns are not from real profit. Pays return to investors with subsequent investors' money. So the new investors' money is transferred to old investors, and there's no actual investment in stocks, bonds, or anything. It, it tries to get investors with uh, saying that they're making a lot of returns or high returns with little or no risk. Destined to collapse because earnings will always be less than payments. So unraveling promoter will vanish from money. Scheme will collapse under its own weight with lack of investments. General market forces interfere. Bernie Madoff was the man behind the greatest Ponzi scheme in world history. So what happened was he, he took $50 billion in investment from people and then just gave that to him and the earlier investors. And the newer investors lost all their money. They, they didn't actually invest any of the money in stocks, bonds, or any investment. They just transferred the money from the new investors to the old investors, and there was no actual investment in anything. And that's what a Ponzi scheme is, taking new money from new investors to give it to the old investors in the, invest in the uh, scheme. Five ways to avoid. Make sure your advisor is legitimate. Understand differences between managers slash custodians. Diversify, own many different investments. So own investments in railroads, banks, car companies, tech companies, e-commerce companies, AI companies, et cetera. Be skeptical of pitches for obscure products. Be vigilant if you're in or nearing retirement. And also with diversification, own investments from different countries. So own investments in the US, Canada, Singapore, Japan, India, etc. Six red flags. You find the investment through an affinity group. The promised returns are excessive compared to what is typically being offered. The investment funds are at the complete disposal of the investment advisor. You put everything with one investor such investment advisor. You are told you will be part of a select or elite group and you find yourself thinking with your emotions. So those are red flags. So watch out. And uh, watch out for all of these because these can be big issues and you might be uh, investing in a Ponzi scheme in these situations. So be careful, question everything and look for these six red flags when you're uh, looking at a potential investment.